안녕하세요. I'm back, and today I'm gonna be talking about groundhogs. Today is the groundhog day. The groundhog day started as a legend, like peop a long like five thousand years ago. Like people believed that groundhogs shadows and groundhogs could tell the weather. Like this, February second. All groundhogs or some groundhogs wake up from their hibernation, and there is a like a famous groundhog named blah 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 Phil, and he wakes up every February second, and then when he sees his shadow, like your shadow's right here, and you see it, that means more winter is coming. If and if it doesn't see his shadow, that means spring is coming early. It is actually a legend, so we're just doing it for fun. So right now in Pennsylvania, right now they're right like right now they are celebrating Groundhog Day. Faithful followers. There is no shadow of me. A beautiful spring, it shall be. Like you know, they hibernate when hedgehogs, badgers, bears, bunnies, squirrels, groundhogs, all those furry animals go into a deep sleep called hibernation, and they sleep through the whole winter. And then when they wake up. The groundhogs usually see their shadow. This started one day, like all the people in Egypt celebrated Groundhog Day. Instead of groundhogs, they celebrated badgers and hedgehogs. But they moved to Pennsylvania, and there was no hedgehogs and badgers there, so they used groundhogs. Really cool, yeah. Super, super cool, yeah. I don't believe that they only do it for fun, of course. Do you think if you believe in magic, I do, but do you think that badgers, hedgehogs, bears, bunnies, squirrels, and all other kinds of animals could see, could tell the weather, like the future weather? Comments down below. And remember the lunar eclipse? Yeah, I all learned this at school. Go to school. So that was all for today, and we'll see you next time. Bye.